So you're considering hiring a business coach. It's a big deal, big investment, and often a big leap of faith. I've sold over a million dollars worth of business coaching services, and I've encountered a lot of questions over the years, and I'll add some of my own that I wanna make sure that you know about so that you can ask as you're making this big decision. These are probably questions that certain business coaches will resent being asked, but that's the point. I'm here to help you, not them. It's about helping you get the right fit so that you can be an informed consumer and you can see the highest possible ROI. I'm not gonna talk about my own services in contrast to others. These are just questions to help you. My name's Leo, I'm a business coach, and let's dive in. What I'm about to share with you are three questions that I'd like you to consider asking a business coach as you're interviewing them for them to be your coach. They sound quite simple, but that's the point. They're worded in a way that allows you to dig deeper than they might realize you're doing because that's when the real truth comes out. The sad reality is, is especially for a 60 minute consultation, it's pretty easy for somebody to fake it until they make it. So these questions help you uncover certain realities that are better to know sooner than later, perhaps after you've hired them. First, what success stories can you share with me about somebody in a similar situation as mine? That last component is the most important part here because what you're listening for is not just the success stories and the quantity of them, because it's great if somebody has an overwhelming amount of success stories that truly feel similar to yours, but you wanna understand how they're processing your situation. Something I say often is that you can have two different business models within the same industry that need tremendously different attention and coaching. So you wanna pay attention to if they just kind of categorize you with other people with similar demographics or psychographics, and you also wanna pay attention to them just putting you in the same bucket as somebody that they helped in the past. What's very dangerous is when somebody says, oh, I've done this with a business just like yours, in the past, we'll do the same thing that we did back then. There's one huge problem with that. That was back then. Techniques change, markets change, people change, and very often it's the same old techniques that might have worked wonders in the past that are horribly out of date now and put a business at a very big competitive advantage. So the last thing you're paying attention to in this case study is the recognition that methods and all of those other variables I listed change over time. Two. This is the other end of that question, which is what failures have you had with people like me? And again, you're listening to how they categorize it, but you wanna pay attention to the acknowledgement of the word failure. Some people may say, oh, I've, I've never failed. I only succeed with my clients. And here's the thing, that's just impossible. Everybody fails in one way or another. And if somebody's unwilling to acknowledge things that just didn't work out, it's pretty important to know that ahead of time because you might find yourself in a situation, the third question is gonna point this out, where the failure really isn't their fault, it's entirely yours. So the third question is, what could have been done differently in that situation? And here's where you're listening for one of my favorite distinctions between coaches, which is a coach that says, oh, that client didn't work out, and that's entirely on them. It's their fault. They didn't do my homework. They didn't follow instructions. Other blame, blame, blame. That's a really big red flag because it's so likely, unfortunately, that you might find yourself in a similar situation where they just blame you for things not working out instead of adapting their methodology and their technique in order to fit you and your situation. Because that's really, in the grand scheme of things, the job of a coach to help you succeed in your many situational unique environment. So pay attention to how they acknowledge that. Some good answers that you might get are, well, I've learned new techniques since then that I've implemented to adjust accordingly. There's in general, the acceptance of mutual responsibility. And there are a lot of answers that you're gonna hear that really will build a tremendous amount of rapport with your coach. I'll tell you this, this is a question that I honestly don't receive that often and I make a point of people getting an answer to it because it really helps me explain to them the journey ahead. The reality is, is when a business coach engages with the business, those paths often change. In the beginning, you might set a specific goal towards a target 
and adapt and choose to do something else that for a lot of reasons is better or the real goal. And that is something that could be reframed from a failure to an adaptation. And that's one of the things that you're looking for within a coach is somebody that's going to be adaptable with you to help see your goals through. So the first three questions I'm sharing with you in this video are one, what are some success stories that you've had with people in my situation? Remember, you're listening for the situation. Two, what are some failures that you've had with people in my situation? And three, what could have been done differently? It's a question that they may or may not understand or expect, and it's one that'll really show you who you're talking to and help you figure out, is this somebody that I wanna be on a difficult, challenging journey with that's going to adapt and support, or is it somebody that's just gonna point me in the direction of the door when I don't do things their way and say it's entirely my fault down the line? My name's Leo, I'm a business coach. I hope this has been helpful to you. We're definitely gonna do some more videos along this line. And I look forward to sharing more questions with you as you interview your business coach to find the right fit for you so you can see the highest ROI and make that vision a reality. Thanks for being here.